that is going to help you in life very very important thing that will help you learn to celebrate your own listen learn to celebrate what God has given to you a very serious principle that can advance you in one year and your one year can bring results that could naturally be brought in 10 years. And the number one person to be celebrated is God. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. When we talk of celebrating Jesus, celebrating the Holy Spirit, wow. Bust out. Don't allow anything to hold your joy and your celebration. What you celebrate, you keep. What you don't celebrate, you lose. And take the same celebration that you have given to God and give it to those that God has given to you. Sometimes it doesn't need a lot of hard work. It only requires a celebration of the one that God has given to you. People always gravitate towards those that celebrate them. People always think of those that celebrate them. People always want to do good to those that celebrate them. So don't lose what God has given to you because you, you are just too selfish to celebrate what God has given you. Don't lose that. And you can lose somebody in his mind that they are no longer thinking about you. They are no longer talking well about you. They are no longer doing any special thing about you. They even forget you. Because you have not been celebrating them enough. Let he who have an ear hear what the Spirit of God is saying. So as Pastor P was talking about our social media our platforms and you are here, you have not subscribed. It means that you are not celebrating the grace that God has given to you. This is why you are not changing. And you have not subscribed uh, to Pastor Mlea uh, platforms, social media platforms, but you have subscribed to a certain man 
who is not even your father. God is angry with you. I want you to know that. And this could be the reason why it is hard for the blessing of God to come to you. Don't despise what God has given you. Don't despise. Some of you are married. You have got a husband. You have got a wife. Some of you have got children that you don't celebrate. You have got parents that you don't celebrate. You have got a husband that is being celebrated by other women and you are the woman who is supposed to celebrate him more than every other woman and they are not doing it it's not wisdom it's not wisdom at all you end up losing what God has given to you because you are not celebrating them enough. Even your husband who is not here. Begin to celebrate them in a way that they've never seen or even heard. You, you don't need to. You have tried to invite them to church. They did not come. Go and be a different character and see if they are not going to come. Go and be a different character. Learn to celebrate your own. Learn to make noise about the blessings that God has given you. Don't despise your own. Don't despise your own. Don't look down upon your own. It's not wisdom. It does not attract God's blessings learn to celebrate what God has given you. And now, God has given us the Holy Spirit. Tindo yeta muripo muripo tino di kwese 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 kwatindo yeta muripo muripo tino di kwese 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 kwatindo yeta Better than come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We bring it all belongs to you. Come on, God of everything. We'll praise your name. We'll sound for as we say, as we say. Oh, but he's a wonder, he's a one, he's a one, hey, he's a one, he's a one, hey, he's a one, he's a one, hey, oh, but he's a wonder, he's a one, he's a one, hey, he's a one, he's a one, hey, he's a one, he's a one, hey, she's not a kid, 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 she's
Zaishi Hey, Zidona Ki Zaishi Kufari Ramari Hallelujah Say, I am celebrating my own My own Don't forget this all your life Celebrate your own church. Be happy that you are a child of light. Celebrate your own church. Be so happy that you are a daughter of light. so happy and uh, let everybody know that you are a child of light. Yes. And when God looks at your heart and see you doing that, I'm telling you, he will raise you, he will lift you, he will put you above be happy. Be happy. Even when they are giving us a ministration, our dear sister was ministering to us here. The moment she steps out, let's stand up. Let's clap our hands. Let's celebrate our own. That's what to do. have your own husband celebrating more than all men you have your own wife celebrating more than all women thank you thank you I was I was thank you Th that's what to do Ben you are too serious hug your wife hey Jesus Christ. You, 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 you might kiss the bride. You, you, you can kiss the bride. Come on, Ben. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes, yes. You learn to celebrate your own. She is the best for you. She is your own. Love her. Embrace her. Celebrate her. And you will see wonders from her. Now celebrate your neighbor.
And we have got our elders here. Wana granny, come here, granny. Celebrate your own granny. You see, you see she is looking young. She is looking good. But she is a mother. She only, she only have got a good pastor who knows how to teach the way and change people's lives. Our elderly, our elderly, somebody that represents a mother, a father, ah, celebrate those people. Celebrate those people. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Yes, yes. yes. That's what to do. That's yeah. what to do. Wow. Praise the Lord. Amen. One of my sons had um, something wonderful happened to him. And he called me yesterday. And they were celebrating and glorifying the name of the Lord. And say, my father, I know that you are praying, but since I have this great testimony, you are the first person that I called to share with you what the grace of God you, that you've ministered to me has produced. There is nobody has heard it. I said I know where this thing came from. And this is a man that should celebrate with me. Because God has used him for this miracle. And then he went on to say, Baba, I always say this. I have one man of God. I have one mentor. I have one teacher. If I fail, I fail in his hand. And if I'll make it, I'll make it. And I'm not going to think that it's another man that did it. And today, this big thing that is definitely ushering me into millions this year, it is finally... without him paying any cent for it. But it is now in his hands. And when he said, here is what I proposed in my heart, that I'm going to listen to my one and only man of God. I'm going to believe him. And I'm going to act on every word that he teaches me. He said, I made that resolution personally. And I said, that's the secret. God has seen somebody different and they've decided to bless you. Len. Now, my man of God, my man of God, celebrate her, work This is for your advantage. This is for your advantage. This is a secret you should get today. And cherish. Don't forget this. Don't let anybody make you forget it. It's a treasure. Hallelujah. All right. I turn your neighbor, tell them. The flames of revival. The friends of revival. Congratulations to all those that attended on uh, on Friday. But what you are going to see today is more and greater. 
because we move from glory to glory in Jesus name did you high five them I turn them and take your seats hallelujah in the next uh, few minutes something very big is going to happen to you in a few minutes in a few minutes we are still talking on or teaching on building godly foundations and if we are going to have a great 2024 it will be because we have built Godly foundations. Because the strength of any structure can be traced from the foundation. The integrity of any structure can be traced to the foundation. How long that structure will exist is the product of how strong the foundation is. It's not every structure that, be, that is built that uh, lives forever. Many structures are built, people go cut ribbons and they are happy. But before long, you begin to see cracks and the coming down of structures. Why did the structure come down? It is because diligence was not done in building the foundation. Or the material that has been used in building the foundation was not the right material or good enough to sustain that structure. So is our life. How long you live depends on the foundation. How well you will live depend on the foundation. How strong you will be throughout your life depends on the foundation. This is the reason why he says if the foundations are faulty what can the righteous do? Which means it doesn't matter you call yourself a child of God. But if you are not founded on the right foundation, if the foundation is wrong, then your righteousness might not give you the desired result. Yet in righteousness is every good blessing. As God said, the righteous shall flourish in their life. In, in the courts of God, they shall still bring forth fruit in old age. They will be fat and flourishing. But if the foundation is not right, then you find those that come to church those that say we are children of God suffering and not having any good thing coming their way all their life. So foundations are very important. This is why in this new year we, start, we are starting it off 
by building godly foundations. And we know from the scriptures what godly foundations are. He said, the foundation of the Lord standard sure. Can you bring it up there? Having this seal, let everyone that nameth the name of the Lord depart from iniquity. Second Timothy 2 verse 19. Read it. Nevertheless, mm -hmm. the foundation of God standeth sure. Mm. Having this seal. Having this seal. Uh -huh. The Lord knoweth them that are his. Mm -hmm. And let everyone that nameth the name of Christ mm. depart from iniquity. He said, this is the foundation. If you name the name of the Lord, depart from iniquity. And then he went on to say, but in a great house, in a great house, uh -huh. they are not only vessels of gold. They are not only vessels of gold uh, and of silver, mm -hmm. but also of wood, of wood uh -huh. and of earth, uh -huh. and some to honor, some to honor, and some to dishonor, some to dishonor. Uh -huh. If a man therefore purge himself from I want, these, I want you to mark that one. If a man therefore purge himself from these he shall be a vessel unto honor a vessel unto honor uh, sanctified sanctified uh, and meet for the master's use and meet for the master's use and prepared unto every good work and prepared unto all good works Amen. praise the name of the lord so our service is designed to help us to help us have a godly foundation. And he has made it clear that a godly foundation is established when men depart from iniquity. Which brings to mind the real purpose of Christianity. The real purpose. What is in God's mind with us being his children? What is in God's mind with us coming to the house of God? What is God trying to achieve from us? If we know that then we are building a very strong foundation that will make God happy because what God wanted to achieve would have been achieved. It will make him happy. And when a person pleases God, God commands everything to hear that person. He commands everything to obey that person. He commands everything good, of course, to come to that person. This is the reason why he said about Jesus, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Hear you him. So when you please God, he commands everything to hear you. Amen. 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 By the end of this service, Everything will give you attention when you speak. Amen. <laughs> oh my God. Oh Jesus Christ. I say everything will obey when you speak. Amen. Because God is happy with you. God is happy with you. When God is pleased by a man, he gives a command that everything should hear that man. So when you speak to a disease from this service, it will obey you. Amen. When you speak to a demon, it will cry out and say, you are my master. I have to obey you. Amen. When you speak to money, money will say, yes, sir. I hear you. Amen. From here, you are going out of this service with a mantle that will make all things hear you. Amen.
Amen. If your amen is louder, everything that was not hearing you will begin to hear you. Amen. I say, if your amen is louder, that thing that was resisting you, it will run to you at your command. Amen. So what is it that God desire of us coming to the house of God? God desires that there be a teaching that will mold a godly character. A teaching that will develop you to a godly character. Until you and Jesus Christ look alike. So much that what Jesus thought, spoke and do you can also think, speak, and do. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He called his disciples and taught them until when he was not with them. So people who knew him and they looked at the disciples, they said, these are Christians. Without them preaching a sermon, but by the way they think, the way they talk, and the way they behave. Heathens, heathens who knew Jesus Christ could see the character of Christ in them to the extent that they say, these are Christians. And the blessing of God is only released in its fullness to those that are Christ-like. And don't be afraid. You will go home today with all the notes that will make you Christ-like. Amen. And therefore the blessing of God will be found in your house. Amen. What Jesus did, you will do. Amen. What he spoke, you will speak. Amen. And the result he got, you will get. Amen. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Come on now. Are you hearing this? How? Look, look at um, what he says in um, Ephesians chapter number 4 from verse 11. And he gave some. And he gave some apostles. Jesus was about to leave. Jesus was about to go to heaven. But before he went to heaven, he made sure that he gave ministry gifts to the church. And he gave some apostles uh -huh. and some prophets some prophets uh -huh. and some evangelists some evangelists and some pastors and teachers mm -hmm. for the perfecting of the saints mm. for the work of the ministry for the perfecting of the saints for the work of ministry uh -huh. for the edifying of the body of Christ mm -hmm. Till we all come in the unity of the faith. Till we all come into the unity of faith. Uh -huh. And of the knowledge of the Son of God. And of the knowledge of the Son of God. Go on. Unto a perfect man. Unto a perfect man. Uh -huh. Unto the measure of uh -huh. the stature of the fullness of Christ. Wow. He says he gave these ministry gifts to teach godly character equip them until the children of God gets to the stature of the measurement of Christ yeah. till we become perfect like our Lord Jesus is perfect 
Till we become holy, like he is holy. Till we become righteous, like he is righteous. Till we become powerful, like he is powerful. Till we become miracle workers, like he was a miracle worker. Till we multiply the little that is in our hands until it is able to feed 5,000 men excluding women and children. Till you come to that stage. That is the purpose of the ministry gift. That is the purpose of the church. And this is what you should come to church for. Why is car godly character so important? Godly character is important because it brings blessings. Godly blessings. If you don't have a godly character, you have a demonic character. And demonic characters allow Satan to manifest in your life. And the Bible says that the devil cometh not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And Jesus Christ said that, but I have come that they might have life and have it to the full until it overflows. Who do you choose? Come on, who do you choose? Between the devil and Christ, who do you choose? Which character should you resemble? Now, hear me. Hear me. No bad thing happened by mistake in anybody's life. No misfortune. No disease. No poverty. No death. No falling down happens to you by mistake. There is something in you that is attracted what is happening in your life. I want you to know this. There is something in you that is attracted what is now manifesting in your life. And if we don't remove that thing that is attracted, this bad thing that is making you cry, we will not be able to get rid of a life of sorrow, pain, affliction, and suffering. There is need for us to be able to diagnose you spiritually and find out why is this thing happening in your life? What is it about you that has attracted this thing? Why has it not come to your next door neighbor? Why did it choose you? It chose you because there was a force that pulled it to you. Hear me now. Both good and bad is available for you in abundance. Tell your neighbor. Both good and bad is available for you in abundance. Then why is it that bad things seem to be only coming and not good things? Because good things are attracted by a godly character. And bad things are attracted by a demonic character or a satanic character. So there is need for us to deal with character before we we, we cry for good things. If we can change you, 
your character, we can change what is obtaining in your life. I don't know whether I've got church in this house. If we can change you, we can change what is coming to you. It is like if you have got a little baby and this little baby messes up. The flies will begin to fill your house. And you go to the next door neighbor or to the other room in your house where there is no mess, you will not find any fly. All the flies that were there in that room where a child did not mess up, they will move from all the rooms and they go to the room where a child has messed up. And if you want to get rid of flies, don't start by going to a supermarket and get a fly-killing substance. You might buy all the dooms from the supermarket and the flies will still come to that room. Until you begin to ask yourself questions, why only this room? Why are flies so attracted to this room? Let me check what is wrong with the, the, the room. Not what is wrong with these flies. But what is wrong with the room. And then you can ship it out. You can clean up everything, make up your mind. Everything is going to be clean in this room, including people. It is when you say so that you have made up your mind to say everything should be clean in this room. That when you check your child, you find the cause for the flies. Clap your hands. <laughs> you have one of the most powerful men of God on the face of the earth. Yeah. This man of God is more powerful than your witches and your wizards, your sorcerers. And oh, the yes. And all of them put together. Yes, sir. But why is it that the, the aspect of witchcraft is still found in you? Why? The problem is not outside. The problem is inside. There is something that has been missed that has to be cleaned up. And when we clean it up without prayer, without fire, without dooming it out, flies will just feel uncomfortable in a clean place. Yeah. Morogundi njwa ere. Yes, sir. Dorita is a ere. Yes, sir. There is enough money everywhere. But there is a character that is forbidden to have money by God. This is why the prayer of Pastor Mlea will not change it. Uh, there are husbands everywhere looking for wives to marry. But they are daughters of light who will not marry. Not because they are not beautiful. Outside. Ah, anyway. Uno geza rana na we, re, we, we. Uno step ino fara na we, re, we, we. Auna. Bad character. 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 When you have a godly character, no man can.
can come to you and move and go forever. He, he will go out. He will not find what you have exhibited and he'll say, I'll go back. 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 Say, I'll go back. I'll go back. Jesus Christ. So, it is the work of apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers to develop godly character. In the house of God. And without that godly character, without that godly character, we, we, we might pray and, and kill ourselves. We might kill ourselves in fasting, kill ourselves in everything, and still not get the approval for the thing that you desire. And all the prayer that we make, I'll show you how to develop a godly character. How to develop a godly character. How to develop a godly character. Number one. Number one. Have a vision and a purpose. To have a godly character. That is the number one thing. Have a vision and a purpose of a godly character. What do you want to be in life? Who do you want to be? In five years, in ten years, in twenty years, in sixty years, in a hundred years. What kind of a legacy do you want to leave to your generation, to your world, to your children? By the end of 2024, how far do you want to have moved towards your vision? If you don't have a vision of who you want to be in the future, you live here now. If you would want, for example, to be a doctor, you know there are seven years of studying, serious studying. You will not be playing all sorts of games and be able to do well in your studies. So naturally, by the power of your vision, you'll be able to cut off some things. You'll not give your life to doing what every ordinary person is doing because you are seeing yourself a doctor after seven years. So you have to know what it will take for you to be the man of your dreams, to be the man of your vision. And you purpose it in your heart that I, a 
am going to be the man of my dreams. I am going to be the woman of my dreams. By the time I am 30, I should be a millionaire. What does it take? What kind of spirits are needed in my life to make me a millionaire at 30? I remember after marrying my wife, she is one person that has given me blows like I've never seen before we became girlfriend and boyfriend. So, after winning her, I asked, I asked, why were you so rough? You, you, you insulted me, you I never knew that I was that bad. And then I was now asking, why were you like this? She said, I looked at my family and I made up my mind that I'll be the first one to learn, complete my education, get married, get wedded, and have a beautiful family. And a part of what I proposed in my heart was that the man that will marry me will be the first man in my life. And you came a little bit earlier before I completed what I had purposed. She was not yet born again. What I have purposed in my heart by just looking at my family. Just to, to, I, 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 I said, everybody getting pregnant regardless of how beautiful or how well they are. What is wrong with this family? Going into it early and I made up my mind. I will say no until I think she said, I said, I will only say yes when now I have got income of my own. I have a profession that can pay me, so I'm not going to say yes because I want anybody's money. I want to say yes because now I'm a professional person. I can stand on my own. And this person was not born again. The power of vision. The power of purposing it in your heart. To say, before I arrive here, I will say no to everything until I get what I have purposed in my heart. This is why unbelievers are beating some of you. With all this God, you always compromise. But somebody can purpose it in their heart to say, I will be big. And they go for it. They go for it. Even if you don't clap. <laughs> so the power of vision and purposing it in your heart that I'll do this thing. And then you begin to cut off a lot of things that will come against your vision. The ability to say no is not a crime to say no to something that is coming to disturb your vision. Tell your neighbor, it's not a crime to say no. Learn to say no. Learn to say no. I'll say it again. Young girl, learn to say no. The power of vision and purposing in your heart that this is who I want to be. And you go for it. You go for it. He said, if 
I had said yes early enough, uh, maybe I was not even going to complete my education. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you hearing something? Yes. Number two. Now, you, you, you look at the scriptures. If you don't have, it's why, right. if you don't have anybody that has ever achieved your vision and your dream, you can look at the scriptures. There are more than enough examples in the scriptures of people that you can pattern your life to be like. Follow their steps and get there. Because whatever you are looking for, somebody has already gotten it. Are you getting this? Somebody is already enjoying it. Number two, Daniel. Daniel proposed in his heart that he's not going to defile himself with the king's fat meat. Daniel 1 verse 8. Read. But Daniel proposed in his heart mm -hmm. that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat. He will not defile himself with the king's fat portion. There are things that come your way to define you. But purpose it in your heart in 2024. God has forgiven you your sins. Now purpose it in your heart that I will not embrace anything that will defile my spirit and my life and stop me from becoming the man of my dreams. I'm preaching good. Your hands are not very good. I know what is resisting this. We'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. Don't worry. We'll deal with it. Number two, to build a godly character, you have to choose godly material and allow them into your mind, into your heart. Godly material. Make sure that your heart is being filled with things that will make it possible for you to become the man of your dreams. Make sure that you are imbibing into your spirit every day the materials that will produce that man that you have dreamt of being. Fill your mind with the materials that will produce the man of your dreams. The woman of your dreams. Fill your heart with the right stuff. Because garbage in, they say garbage out. You can never become what you are not in your heart. You can't. You can never become what you are not in your heart. It will be fake and it will not be sustainable. You have to become it in your heart before we can see the manifestation of it in your life.
These people are not hearing me. In other words, I'm saying, you become a millionaire first in your heart. Before we can count millions in your bank account. That's what we are saying. That's what we are saying. If you get millions by accident and you are not a millionaire in your heart, you will drop from million to 1,000 because in your heart, the capacity of your heart is 1,000. So what do you do? You first of all enlarge your heart until you become a millionaire before you even have it in your account. You should have a millionaire mindset, a millionaire heart. You should have a large heart that cannot be moved by a million dollars, but which can move a million dollars. Yeah, If a million dollar comes to you and you begin to shake everything else, it will not stay. You have to be stable enough to contain all the forces that comes with a million. You have to, your heart has to be stable enough. Because a million is not just money. These are spirits. That will be attracted. These are forces. There are a lot of things that come with cash. Can you be able to contain them? Is your heart developed enough to be stable? If it is developed enough to be stable, then you are not moved by a million, but you move a million. That's why you can easily move it into your life. God is just starting to introduce you into it. You are already saying time. This service is too long. These people are shouting too much. You, you, you are just being tried. Could, can we try it? It is already shaking you. You cannot come and stay here and say amen. You are already shaken. And God is looking at your heart and say, This one is not yet developed enough. My angels, Musa and Samari, Jiruku Muda. Musi ipa ma thousand ipa pa pa kusika develop. And this is why today we are giving you a lesson that will develop you, making you peak inside, making you when when a million dollar comes, you come even early to church, you save even more in the house of God. You, 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 you are happy with others. You don't frown at others. You don't become proud. You don't become like uh, you are now a peacock. But you are humble. You are serving. You can still be an usher. Ushering so well like uh, Emmanuel. I like your character. When God makes you a millionaire, don't change. Do even more, my son. You are a son of my love. I love you. Don't change. As God increases you, be more humble. Be more humble. Emmanuel, you will come here at, at seven. We want to, to pray. Emmanuel will be arranging chairs here. Arranging chairs. Sweeping, cleaning chairs. Here. In the night. Sometimes alone. So you do that, you maintain that, God 
will bless you. But when he blesses you, don't change. If you are not there, make sure that your money now is there. Employ people to come and do what you were doing. What is shaking you, you cannot keep. What is shaking you, you cannot keep. But you can only keep what you are shaking. Boyfriend, boyfriend, Instead of you shaking him to be in the house of God, you are being shaked out of the house of God to, to go to Peter Inn on Sunday. You cannot keep that one. You have just lost it. You have lost it. You have lost it. The thing that is shaking you, you cannot keep. Because you are unstable. You are shaking. So even if it comes, it will be shaken and it will fall. What comes into your heart? He says, my son, attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Give thy, the, yourself to it. Huh? Incline thine ear unto my saying, for they are life mm. to all them that find it mm. and health to their flesh. Mm. He says, cut your heart. Keep thy heart with all diligence. For out of it <laughs> are the issues of life. Keep your heart with all diligence. Because out of your heart are the issues of life. Proverbs 4.23 Romans 12 verse 1 So the issues of life are coming from your heart. It's not from outside. It's from inside. They have come to show you what kind of a man you are. Romans, I beseech you therefore, brethren, uh -huh. by the mercies of God, uh -huh. that you present your bodies mm. a living sacrifice, mm -hmm. holy, Mm -hmm. acceptable unto God mm -hmm. which is your reasonable service mm. and be not conformed to this world be not conformed to this world don't allow the world to change you don't allow the world to change you but change the world, the world is the one that is supposed to conform to you. Amen. Amen. You cannot rule the world when you are subject to the world. You have to be on top. If the world will hear you, if you be a master over it, you don't change to be like the world, but you make the world change to be like you. Because you are a Christian. So you guard your heart. Tell your neighbor, guard your heart. Your mind is not for garbage. Your heart is not for rubbish. Don't allow rubbish in your heart. Don't allow rubbish in your mind. Allow that which will make you a man of your dreams. That which will make you a woman of your dreams. Yes. Amen. Amen. That is the material that is supposed to come into your heart. This therefore will mean that number three, 
you will have to also cut off some people who are not helping you become a man of your dreams. Amen. Yes. <laughs> hey. I know you love your friend. How is he helping you? I just like him. You know, he's a good person. What good is it that he has deposited in your life? Check your five-year friend. What value have they added? Have you become better because of that friend? Or you are becoming worse? Make up your mind. This is a new year. We want new things here. We don't want things that will drag us into the, the calamities of 2023 or 2010. We don't want to go back. We want to go forward. We don't want to fall. We want to arise and keep rising. Check your friend. It's not, friendship is not by force. You can choose friends. Friends, there are people to choose. Nasi papa pandichipeza Kuneba mewa anu wakazara mfoni buku mako Alana kana wani chaka naka Chavaru kuhunza mo upenyo wako Zivu nzeo gerei papo Kuti ndo kontinua ere Newa anu wakadai Kana kuti ndo mboklia Rabishi inoi So that there can be room For good people, godly people Men who will motivate me Men who will encourage me Men who believes in me Men who can celebrate me Men who can lift me up when I'm down Men who, who believes in your dreams Come on now. They are friends that have been chosen by the devil. To come close to you. And they are friends that have been chosen by God. You are ignoring these godly friends because they pray too much. Because they speak in tongues. And they understand. And they understand. Ah, 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 ah. It's a friend that has been chosen by God. It's a friend that comes from God. Surround yourself with godly friends. If you are going to build a godly character, it's not everybody. That should be in your life. Hey! If your friend has got seven girlfriends and is married, and is your friend, you will not be innocent. We give you time. You very soon. Very soon, you will join him. I need nani, but two and now. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to be serious with your life. Look at your life. Look at the things that are around you that are against your destiny. Remove them. Of them. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I don't have many friends. My friends are these, my sons. My sons here, these ones that I, I teach. Because it's not everybody who is going where we are going. Can you imagine? You want to go to Jobek, your friend Jenny is going to Harare. You will not get to Jobek. You will be stuck at the border forever. Because the phone calls that you will be making will be suggesting Harare. So you will be going this way and he is pulling you back. Pulling you back until what in the hook? Every person who is not of God, you can only approach them to minister to them and to bring them to Christ. To bring them to you. He said, you are the light.
It's not everybody. I preached like this. Some people became angry with me. They left the church. Because they said, they left. And where are they now? Go and check. Where are they? Closing the beer hall. You are the number last to come out. And where is your destiny? Hell. After you have drunk all the, the beer, you go and rust in hell. We are praying for you. I'm praying for you. And I'll never change. If you are the next one who is going to leave, because I'm telling you, do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. That is God's word. That is God's word. Come on, put it up the screen. Second Corinthians chapter number 6 from verse 14. Alright? Uh -huh. But be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Don't you understand? How's it going sir? How's it going sir? Be not unequally yoked, unequally yoked. With an, if God is the one who is writing and is telling you that, He is not foolish. Amen. He is not foolish. Don't ever think that God is not wise. How 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 is He? How does He want to separate me from this? My my this man is very good. God can never lie. He knows tomorrow. He knows that this goodness is just a bait. That's one to take you out of water. But from the sea, you are going to a frying pan. Be not unequally yoked with unbelievers. For what fellowship? Hath righteousness with unrighteousness. And what communion? Hath light with darkness. He calls you light. And he says, what communion? What agreement has light with darkness? <laughs> this boyfriend of yours, who does not want to hear church? This one. Leave him while he's still now. Say the Lord. This girlfriend of yours, who is so angry with the church every day, a girlfriend, leave her. Before you get wedded and be in a trap that you cannot come out. Nataura. Nataura. It, when you are still boyfriend and girlfriend, there are no laws attached. But when you marry, you cannot come and tell me, now, girlfriend and boyfriend. If you tie the knot, you are tied there. We will be praying. We will be telling you, it, it shall be well. <laughs> Continue praying. <laughs> so hear it now and leave. Amen. Hear it now and leave. There is something good waiting for you. Don't be so unpatient. Don't be unpatient. Be patient. Something good is on the horizon. It is coming. I'm so happy to see you with your husband like this. Very happy. Very happy.
All right. Our machines are it. Let's move to the other one. Number what? Number four. To build a godly character. Be willing to change. Be willing to change. From darkness to light. Not changing from light to darkness. Change going forward. And here are the materials to change you. Number one, the word of God. Prayer will come to it. It's number two. Number one, the word of God. Give your heart to the word of God. Change by the word of God. Don't allow your life to change because you have watched a movie, an ungodly movie. There, there, there are people here who do not know that uh, what they hear shapes what they become. Whether it's a movie. There are many godly movies. Why, why is your heart so given to violent, thunderous, killing, action movies? There are godly movies that can entertain you even better. And at the end of that entertainment, you are drawn towards God. There is no way you can watch a violent and godly movie and you remain stable. You become dramatic. Manja Africa, you know, this is a lesson. and the intention There are people you 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 make you make you make a, a, a small argument. They take a plate because they've seen it in a movie. They go, they crash even the windows. They are expressing their their movie now. And you don't even have money to replace that plate. You know you are very broke. But a white man somewhere who was selling an idea of violence, it found its way into your heart. And now you are violent. And you wonder, this young, beautiful girl, why is she so violent? Satan has sold it into your heart through a movie. Can a young girl watch pornography and be well? Can a young man watch pornography and be well? What are you watching? What are you seeing? You don't know that behind all those scripts that you are now copying, that thing was acted. It's not real. It's not real. That person who is doing that thing, they go back to their home. They are the meekest and the most loving wife. But they've sold something that is designed to destroy your home. Be sober, be vigilant. The devil is moving around as a roaring lion seeking whom he might devour. It's not everything. That should come into your heart. The word of God. The word of God. He said, I commend you, brethren, to the word of grace. 
to God. I commend you to God and to the word of grace, which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance. An inheritance. The word of God will give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified. Acts 20, 32. Give yourself to the word of God. 32. Psalm 119, verse 9. How can a young man make himself clean? By meditating on the word. Go to the, Psalm 119, verse 9. Psalm 119. 119, verse 9. Wherewith is. shall a young man cleanse his way? Uh huh. By taking heed thereunto according mm. to thy word. By taking heed thereunto according to thy word. That's how you become clean. Jesus says you are now clean because of the words that I have spoken unto you. So as I'm speaking to you right now, the word is cleaning some things that are not supposed to be in your life. Amen which are responsible for a very bad life that you are living. Amen. Not everything should be allowed, including people. Tell your angry neighbor, but including people. <laughs> this is your neighbor. Most of you here, most of you, you were drunkards, smokers, you were doing all sorts. Having all these girlfriends and all that. Eh? Did you just wake up one day and say, today I'm going to the beer hall, or somebody led you to the beer hall? Somebody, somebody said, who, who, who became your friend? This is your good heart. That does not choose. That just accommodate everybody. That does not want to say no. Somebody just came and hooked you into the beer hall and you followed one day let me just try from trying you became a hero <laughs> that's how they started smoking that's how they started drinking That's how they started being violent. That somebody introduced you to a girlfriend. Who had girlfriends? You are at college now. Your friend you have a boyfriend or two. You are saying, "Holy, I'm a child of light," but he's still your friend. Very soon. Very soon. So they are, they are enjoying all. I, I'm losing. And they come and say, stupid. You stupid old lady from rural areas. This is town. Now, woman, if I will So it's men that introduce us to things. But choose a friend. This boring old friend who always come with a devotional. Share the word of God with you. What is your status full of? Very worldly things. And some of you, you don't know that what you put in your status shows your interest, your desire. Kune mungu muno, angachi kutari sa suwaji wana sekuti, uri muno kwa hai. But aku wana zwa, uri kuisa uma status. How did I've made a pro, I've made a, this, this man, why is he happy to have a status like this? These funny things. 
So these are his interests. Hallelujah. Did you Baba Oh, you are thinking. Dara yes, you couldn't run a kirwasei. It's temporary joy. Let me tell you. Every ungodly character brings a spirit to you. Be it lies, be it fornication, be it stealing, be it pride, all these things, they bring, Satan makes you walk in their light so that they can introduce a spirit in you. That will frustrate your life forever. So before a fall, Satan brings pride. Munu hangus godoni. Anotanga otenge serwa mwea we pride. And when they are proud, they begin to fall. So what has made them fall is not a wrong deal that they got involved in. It's the spirit of pride that was introduced in them by an ungodly character. Ah. What has brought misfortune is a spirit maybe of stealing Because it says the curse of the Lord is in the house of a thief. So when you steal, you think that you have gained. What you don't know is that stealing has introduced a curse. So when you are moving, when you are moving, you don't know that there is a spirit that is attracting misfortune now because of what you have stolen. Whether you have stolen money, you have stolen cars, you have stolen clothes, or stealing other people's husbands or wives. Stealing is stealing. <laughs> so at least you think that I am enjoying the money that I have stolen. You don't know that in the realm of the spirit, there is a personality. That is shouting. Every curse come to him. He is a thief. He is a thief. He is a thief. Every curse come to him. He is a thief. You, you go to somewhere and all of a sudden things begin to fall and you end up losing even what you have stolen. The punishment is too hard. So why am I teaching you this? So that in 2024, you can have spirits, godly spirits that will attract godly blessings to you. And to have these spirits, there is a character that you have to be maintained. And when that character is maintained, then a spirit is introduced to you that begins to attract what you desire, that good thing that you desire. It comes to you on the ticket of a godly character. Did you hear that? So if Papa you did no to Zinzuakaipa, you are saying no to spirits because the devil wants to introduce a spirit through a demonic or devilish character. Every devilish character introduces a spirit. So we find that people are full of spirits that they 
caught in fornication, in stealing. I'm going to dwell on that as we go on. And you'll be totally delivered. I cannot come to the end of January and you, you remain the same. It's not possible. <laughs> By the end of January, I'll be finished. And I'll be watching blessings coming your way. And you'll be coming here to testify. Baba, isn't that Why is it not going to be? Why is because you, you, you have got a godly character. There are going to be spirits in the border that, say, that searches the border. And they say, whoever has got big money, come to him, come to him, come to him. Even client, my angels are not in Because you have a spirit Amen. that is calling for blessings. Ask everybody who is great, whether in the kingdom of darkness or in the kingdom of God. They will tell you. Beyonce, Beyonce said, and Sasha, and the Sasha, and the Sasha, and the Sasha, in the kingdom of darkness, and Ziba could performance yangu irgu spread up to the nations of the world. It is not me, it's a Sasha what? Fear. Who comes upon me? You, you, you are the only one. As ordinary as you are, you are applying. I'm not gonna mwea. Kuni kakasa and now I'm telling you how these spirits come. Look at her when she's performing. Naked. That's what Sasha fears once. He said, I don't step. Into. You, you, you also ask um, this, this woman who is doing shows. Oprah. Oprah. She says, something comes upon me before I stand before that camera and begin to speak to people. And you are wondering all those millions for just talking. And when I'm teaching you, you just think, I will just go to school. And you are wearing yourself out. And you never get to the level of your dreams if you don't have a spirit. And godly spirits are attracted by a godly character. Demonic spirits are attracted by a demonic character. This is why even those that are making it in the world, they have to join a cult. They have to kill people to qualify for the spirit of money that they desire. It's either my wife or not. It's my girlfriend, seventeen. Try to pour off it as a ganak. Can I order one to appease that spirit so that it can work for you? So you become so bad in the dark world to please the master of the dark world, so that he can give you temporary joy. And after that, you die and go to hell. Go and ask anybody big. They'll tell you. There is a spirit. That has made me. To be who I am. There is a spirit. And this brings me to the last part of my teaching. What you need. We said, we said the word, we talked about prayer. Prayer in, 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 in those that were there on Friday. We talked about prayer. But prayer is 
one of the things that God has designed for the transfiguration of our lives. When it was dark in the future of Jacob, he said, let me remain alone. And he began to pray. And when he prayed, God, God said, who are you? He says, I'm Jacob. And he said, Jacob means deceiver. It means that you are operating by the spirit of the devil. I cannot bless a child of the devil. You have to be changed from Jacob to Israel. Israel meaning prince. And a prince is a child of God. God is a king. So Jacob was changed from Jacob to Israel before he enjoyed a great future with God. Esau wanted to kill him, embraced him and kissed him and called him my brother and not my enemy because of prayer. But all these things, if they can be done without the spirit of God, it will not produce anything. Number last. You have to be given to the spirit of God. Live in the spirit of God. Allow the ministry of the Holy Ghost in your life. If you are going to have a godly character. Allow the ministry of the Holy Ghost. Don't harden your heart to the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Because what makes great or what makes small are spirits. Allow the Holy Ghost to flow without boundaries in your life. Allow the Holy Ghost. He is here. Allow him to touch you today. He is here. Allow him to touch you. Holy Ghost, touch us. Holy Ghost, bless us. Bless us now, Spirit of the living God. Bless us. Bless us. Bless us, Holy Ghost. Touch us. The Bible says that the Holy Spirit is that spirit that gives life. That gives life. He is the one that is needed where there is death. He is the one to be consulted when things are not alright. He is able to turn darkness to light. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. It doesn't matter what the devil has put in your life that have stagnated you for years. When the Holy Ghost hoover in this auditorium right now, what is not of God will be cut off. If your amen is louder, you will start with you. Now you allow the ministry of the Holy Ghost. You give yourself to him. And say, Holy Ghost, work in my life. Do a special work in my life today. Do a special work in my life. That spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead. He says, if it comes upon you, it will also quicken. It will also give life to your mortal bodies. So it doesn't matter how far the devil has gone in destroying you and you might be lying there dead right now. But if you can only open your heart to the Holy Ghost today, the dead will arise. Oh, yes. 
the one who was called a nobody will become somebody. Oh yes. The Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, the yes. Holy Ghost, yes, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. Open your life to the Holy Ghost in yes, this house. Sir. Open your life to the Holy Spirit. Open your life to the Holy Spirit. Open your life to the Holy Spirit. Oh, yes. Don't ever blame yourself that you've made so many mistakes. No, no. You've made mistakes. The devil was targeting you because you have got a great dream. You have got a great vision. But the Holy Spirit is going to take that which the devil is slain oh, yes. and they will resurrect it and it will become a great army. Amen. Is a son of man. Can these bones live? Yes, sir. Can these ones live? Oh, yes. And Ezekiel looked at them and said, Only you know, O oh God. And God said, Prophesy, son of man. Prophesy to the bones. Oh, yes. And they say, Eat dry bones. Yes, sir. Thus said the Lord. Oh, yes. Come from everywhere where you are slain. And the bones began to come to themselves. Say news come, the tendons come. The, 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 the blood was there, but there was no spirit. And they say, prophesy. Prophesy, son of man, and tell the four corners of the spirit to come into this slain. And they said, I prophesied as I was commanded. And the breath came into the slain. And they rose up as a mighty army. Whatever has killed you, oh yes, it shall be killed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. Whatever has killed your brain, oh yes. Whatever has killed your body, yes, sir. Whatever has killed your business, yes, sir. Whatever has killed your marriage, yes, sir. Right now, oh yes, there is an opening, yes, sir, in heaven, yes, sir, for the downpour, yes, sir, of the Holy Ghost, yes, sir, to each and everybody, oh yes, whose heart is open, yes, sir, for a resurrection power, yes, sir, of the Spirit, oh yes. Oh my God. You are all that better. Oh, Jesus. You are all that oh. better. Oh. I'll make room for two. Now hear this, my brother. Hear this, my brother. Right now, from the, when we started, we said there's nothing wrong in your life that was not attracted by something wrong in your life. It is something wrong in your life that attracts the wrong things. It is something that is not of God in your life that attracts ungodly things. But the Holy Spirit is the answer oh, yes. to that problem. He is the one. The Bible says that if anyone can purge himself of all things. He shall be a vessel under honor worthy of the master's use. There is supposed to be a purging that should take place in your life. Purging of dead things. Purging of evil bad lucks. Purging of everything that is against your life and destiny. And the one who purges it the one who cleanses you, who removes that thing, who takes it out, who destroys it, is the Holy Ghost. He is the one who came to Peter. When Peter had not preached one sermon, and when the Holy Ghost came, Peter became an expert in one day. In one day. Your success is not going to be long. It's not going to take long. Right now, as the fire comes down, oh yes, something that is not of God will come out of your body. Yes, sir. Amen. Oh. Amen. Oh. Yes, sir. Oh yes, sir. Oh yes, sir. As the fire come down, oh yes, 
Something that limited you shall be cut off from your life. Yes, daddy. You are going out a fire yourself. Oh, yes. The fire is coming down to make you a fire. Yes, sir. The fire is coming down to make you a champion. Yes, sir. The fire is coming down to make you a genius. Yes, sir. The fire is coming down to make you a man of your dream. Oh, yes. Peter never thought that he could do what Jesus did. But when the Holy Ghost came, the power of God came upon Peter so much that even his shadow could heal the sick. From a man who was full of fear, a man who didn't know how to do it, a man who even, who even rejected Christ to being the bishop of Jesus church to being the captain of uh, the Jesus ministry by the Holy Ghost what you don't know how to do the Holy Spirit today as he comes upon you you will be number one in doing that thing Amen, amen. your amen is not good I say what you used to fail in you will become a champion in that thing by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Those, those that used to threaten you, they will look at you and run when the Holy Ghost begins to manifest through you. There are people who came here weak. You will go back home strong. Yes, sir. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. There are people who came here and you look down upon yourself, you are saying, everything around me does not speak of success. There is one, one who is coming to you now. If you can only open your heart to him, one, after all have condemned you, he is going to lift you up from that dark corner of condemnation and make you a burning and shining light in your generation. His name is the Holy Ghost. His name is the Holy Ghost. Do you want him in your life today? Are you sure your heart is open to the Holy Ghost? Oh yes. Don't condemn yourself. He has not come here to condemn you. But he has come here to condemn the one who is condemning you. He's going to be touching people right now. He's going to be touching lives right now. Oh, yes. Holy Ghost. Oh, yes. Holy Spirit. Everything has condemned me. Everything has uh, uh, negatively judged me. You are the only one who can lift me up. You are the only one, Holy Ghost. You are the only one. You are the only one who can pick my pieces, gather my pieces together and do something great with me. Oh, yes. I can rise. I can rise by the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, help me. Holy Spirit, help me. Lift up your hands. Alleluia. Lift up those holy hands. Close your eyes. Open your heart. There is a fire from heaven that is coming down right now. There is a fire from heaven. I only have got five minutes to do this. Five minutes. There is a fire from above that is sent by God to you to attack that which has attacked your life. There is a fire from heaven sent with your name to deliver you from the hands 
of the wicked. As that fire descend, receive it. Receive it. Allow the fire of the Holy Ghost to page your life. To attack the things that are attacking you. To bring down those things that are bringing you down. To remove all those things that are a barrier against your destiny. All those mountains that are against your life. Right now, as I call the fire of God, as I call the fire of revival, that fire will descend. And when it comes on you, you are going back home glorified. You are going back home, a new person. Ashes, ashes, ashes. You are going back home, a new person. I call the fire oh, yes. to burn right now. Yes, sir. I call the fire, fire. to burn right now. Yes, sir. Let the fire oh, yes. burn right now. Yes, sir. Let it get into your blood. Yes, sir. And destroy oh, yes. the virus of HIV. Yes, sir. In five minutes, there will be a move of the spirit. And the people are going to be here very soon. Zaka. We say anobatwa na Holy Ghost. I just have to lay hands on them, and I'm out of this place. So all you guys, there are people who are going to be slain by the Holy Ghost. There are people who are going to fall under the power. There are people who are going to be touched by the Spirit. You just bring them here right now. In five minutes, I'll be done. Right now, the helper. You were waiting for oh, yes. is in this house. Yes, sir. His name is the Holy Ghost. Yes, that is. He is the healer yes, sir. of your body. Yes, sir. He is the deliverer yes, sir. of your body. Yes, sir. He is the attacker yes, sir. of that which was attacking you. Oh, yes. He is the one yes, sir. who can give you a way yes, sir. where there was no way. Yes, sir. Receive the Holy Ghost. Oh, yes. Receive the fire. Oh, yes. Receive the fire. Fire. Receive the fire. Fire. Bring them up here. Receive the fire. Fire. Receive the fire. Fire. Help me in five minutes. The Holy Ghost will have done his work. You would have finished with your enemies. The Holy Ghost would have finished with the whole, with the, your enemies. I command fire. Yes, sir. I command fire. Fire. 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 Very fast. Oh yes. In five minutes. Yes, sir. There will be no sickness in your body. Oh yes. There will be no sickness in your body. Yes, sir. In five minutes. Oh yes. There will be no barrenness. Yes, sir. In your body. Yes, sir. In five minutes. Yes, sir. There will be no cancer. Oh yes. In five minutes. Yes, sir. There will be no diabetes. Yes, sir. In your body. Yes, sir. There will be no diabetes. Yes, sir. In your blood. Oh yes. There will be no HIV. In your blood, yes, sir. I call the fire, yes, sir. The Holy Ghost, 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 yes, sir. Holy Ghost, oh, yes, Holy Ghost, yes, sir. 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 Ben, fire, 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 Ben. Fire, 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 fire. Is that spirit? Oh yes. That will destroy sickness. Yes, sir. You don't have to go out of this church. Oh yes. Seek my brother. Yes, daddy. You don't have to go out of this church. Yes, sir. With a demon of poverty. Oh yes. You don't have to go out of this church. Yes, sir. With a spiritual husband. Oh yes. Or a spiritual wife. Yes, sir. Or a spirit of poverty. Yes, sir. You don't have to go out of this church. Oh yes. With HIV. Yes, daddy. You don't have to go out of this church. Yes, sir. With cancer. Yes, sir. You don't have to go out of this church. Oh yes. Let me nyama. Yes, sir. Holy Ghost. Fire. Holy Ghost. Fire. Holy Ghost. Fire. Holy Ghost. 
Jesus fire 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 Yes, I, my, 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 yes, my, 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 yes, he's changing your life. Oh, yes, he's changing your life. Yes, he's changing your life. Yes, you just bring them here. Oh, yes, he's changing your life. Yes, or a go Buddha. Oh, yes, or a go Buddha. Yes, or a go Buddha. Yes, or a go Yes, or a go Buddha. 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 Yes, sir. Holy Ghost, fire. And you see me? Chawanga wa mirira. Makore esa. Chango jiti mwari ndi konere. Mwari ndi rangarire. Mwari wa kurangari ranas. You might close your heart and miss your miracle. But if you know that there is a desire that your effort could not bring, that uh, your connections could not bring, that your parents could not give you, that your husband cannot give you, that your doctor cannot give you, that your lawyer cannot give you, that the nation of Zimbabwe cannot give you, there is a man. Lift up your hands and mean it in your heart. Holy Spirit, help me. Holy Ghost, help me. Come with the flames of revival and revive my life, Holy Ghost. Revive my life, Holy Spirit. Revive my life. They call me dead. They call me barren. They call me sick. They call me Munoas Nabasa. Dorai Chisinabasa Muyamuchene. Beside a moto. Beside a moto. Hedge me with your fire and use me for your glory. That is your prayer right now. That is your prayer. Pick me wherever I am, O oh Lord. In a place where men are laughing at me. In a place where men are calling me by names. They call me sick. They call me barren. They call me a, a, a poor. They call me HIV positive. They call me cancer. They call me diabetic. They call me with names. Holy Ghost! Fire! Call him. Call him. Call him. Call him wherever you are. He will lift you. He will lift you. He will lift you. He will change your story. He will change your family. He's coming to you now. Allow him in your heart. He's coming to you now. He's coming to you now. Yield your spirit. Give your heart to him. Yield your spirit. Allow him to touch you. Allow him to touch you. Allow him to help you. Don't be ashamed of the Holy Ghost. Don't be ashamed of the Holy Ghost. Don't be ashamed of the Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. You are our last hope. You are our last hope. In you we trust. In you we trust. I trust in you. I trust in you. I trust in you. Lift those hands. Lift those hands. You are my trust. You are my hope. You are the one that can help. Help me today, Lord. I heard your word, my Father. I have spirits that are not of God. That I know they visit me when I am asleep. I see snakes. I see spiritual husbands. I see spiritual attacks. I need your help today, Holy Ghost. I need your help. I need your help. May that snake, may that snake that always torment my life, may it fall right now. May the spiritual husband that always come to defy my life, may he come down right now. Holy Spirit, I should be called by a new name. 
I should be called by a new name. People have laughed at me, Holy Ghost. People have laughed at me. They call me barren. But I know, I know, I know I'm not barren. I'm a fruitful mother of many children. Have your way in me. 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 Change my name. Change my story. Change my name. Change my story. They call me prostitute. But my father, you can change my name. You change the rap's name and make it great. Touch me. Touch me. Touch me. Touch me. Touch me. Touch me, Holy Spirit. Now with your hands lifted, here comes the Holy Ghost to change your financial status, to change your name from poverty to riches. Here comes the Spirit. Embrace the Spirit of Prosperity. Embrace the Spirit of Prosperity. The spirit that can lift you from shame and make you sit with kings and princes. Here comes the spirit that can make you rise and never go down. Allow him to move in your heart. Everybody be quiet. Be quiet. That cry of your heart is what the Spirit of God wants to hear. That cry of your heart. That cry of the soul that cry of help. Let it get to the ears of the Holy Ghost. That cry of your heart, of your soul. That cry of your soul. That cry of your soul. That cry of your soul. I cannot continue in 2024 the way I was in 2023. I cannot continue a laughing stock. That cry of a contrite and broken spirit. May it be heard. May it be heard. May it be heard. The cry of the soul. That cry that really mean it from the depth of your spirit. I have to be a millionaire. I have to be fruitful. I have to come out of this disease. I have to come out of this bondage. That cry. Yeah, that cry of the soul. Of a broken and contrite heart. That God cannot ignore. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Spirit of God. Out of your belly, there is something shaking, shaking in your spirit. Something jumping in your belly. Something kicking in your belly. That is the fire. That is the fire. That is the fire. That is the fire that you have come to change your life. That is the fire. That is the fire. That is the fire. That is the fire that the Holy Ghost is sent to change your life. Fire! 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 I 
I see things changing. I see things changing. I see you rising. I see you becoming great. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, I see things changing. I see a change in your life. I will see Gina Munyama, the Holy Ghost fire if paged out the bad omen the holy ghost fire is paged out the sickness in your blood the holy ghost fire is paged out munyama yoku ghost ko reject wa kurambwa nezvakanaka kurambwa nevano kurambwa nemari kurambwa kusemwa nezvinhu zvakanaka that fire of the holy ghost is burning poverty the poverty of generations that thing that is making it hard for money to come into your hands yes. right now yes. it is being smitten yes. by the fire yes, it is being smitten yes, by the fire yes, it is being smitten yes, by the fire yes, it is being smitten oh, yes. by the fire yes, that thing that rejects and block good things from coming yes. somebody oh God. the good thing that uh, you desire seem to be running away from you the thing that was making it impossible is destroyed right now amen it's destroyed right now You'll go from this place. You will go from this place. And you'll find that those good things that you desired, they'll come to you without you even going to them. They'll come to you. Chatanga with my phone calls. I have spoken as a servant of God. Oh yes. It's up to you to believe. Yes, sir. It's up to you to take it and go and see that it is not by might or by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. That good things do come to people. Peter did not go out. The people that he deserted, when the fire of God came upon him, the people that he desired came where he is. So the Holy Spirit brings to you the things that are consistent with your calling and that shall give you glory. They are beginning to come as I speak. Amen. It is not going to be difficult for you. Mlea, uji buda pana bochenda kuno kana urwenda kupi cha 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 unoda. Uchi tanga kuchi da chino tanga kuuya kuauri. Chino tanga kuuya. You 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 will just pick it. You will just pick it because the fire is on you. The fire is bringing it. The spirit is pulling it to you. This is the revelation that I want you to go home with. Uchibuda pano chawango uchida chichikutiza because of this baptism of the Holy Ghost and fire. Zinuiso ozo sinotanga kuuya. Sinotanga kuuya. Sinotanga kuuya. Zekuti ukaenda kuno chera gold inouya ichi unzwa nemweya ukano tank business mari inouya because you opened your spirit to the Holy Ghost and He has removed the thing that was stopping things from coming. 
that is the revelation that I want you to know. This is what I want you to go home knowing. You who have opened your heart. You who have said, Holy Ghost, have your way in my life. When he comes, he comes with the things that you desire. Come with the things.